is happening guys it's your boy tc back with another video so the official search for aaron ramsey's replacement has officially begun and uh, arsenal in the last few days have been linked with the spanish midfielder who currently plays for villarreal and that's in the form of pablo fornals so fornals is a player that's extremely exciting to watch and if you see him play uh, he's an extremely extremely talented player Will he come to Arsenal is the key question here. As mentioned, we are in the search for a replacement for Aaron Ramsey. Aaron Ramsey's contract is due to come to an end. And I do believe that the only reason why this hasn't happened in terms of him signing a new contract is down to the wage demands that he has put forward or his agents have put forward. Uh, of course, um, the team has got high earners already. And of course, moving forward, I do believe the model that's been put in place after Arsene Wenger's exit is to actually reduce the amount of wages that is paid to players. And moving on with Aaron Ramsey, shifting him out the club, I do believe this is part of that new system that's gonna be put in place. But for now, is an extremely exciting player as mentioned. So he's 22 years old, he's a Spanish international with two caps. And so far this season, I do believe he has scored a wonder goal. It's an extremely, extremely decent goal. I think he's beyond or within his own half and he takes a massive, massive strike, the keepers off the line. And he's being touted as one of the goals of the season in La Liga. And he is sort of in the ilk or in the mold of Santi Cazola. Of course, they are completely two different players. But their route within football is fairly similar, if you like to say that. So Fernals began his career at Malaga and he's found himself at Villarreal. And he's a key, key figure within their team. He's extremely uh, energetic in that midfield area. Exactly what we'll be looking for to obviously replace Aaron Ramsey. But my key question really would be, would he be able to slot straight into the squad? Of course, Aaron Ramsey at the moment is playing a bit part player within the team. He is being fielded uh, within the cup competitions. But moving forward, will the this young guy come in and actually take the place of an existing current first team player chances are that won't happen we may seem gradually getting introduced into the team if you like but we've got the likes of Shaka and Torreira in that midfield pivot and they're doing absolutely fantastic bar maybe the last game if you want to say that but I don't see him coming in straight into the first team. But will he be a future first team player? Of course, chances are extremely high that he will certainly be a future first team player. This is a player that's been certainly under the radar as well. And of course, he has been identified under that new model that we've discussed in terms of the wages. And I do believe that new model also consists of transfers being off a low fee. So the fee that had been reported uh, previously was a 17.5 million euro clause uh, within his contract, but the president or the chairman of Villarreal has come out and said, no, that's not the case. He has come out, uh, which is today, and stated that the actual price or the fee uh, within his contract will be roughly around 40 million euros. So it's yet to be seen what's true, but the reports that initially emerged suggested that his release clause was only 17.5 million euros, which fits into the budget Arsenal certainly trying to go for in terms of bringing in players. Of course, we saw the likes of Torreira coming for a very, very minimal fee. He didn't cost a lot, as well as the fact that Lerner came in for a very minimal fee. And of course, we've got two good players in return for those minimal fees. And this is obviously courtesy of Sven Mislintat, in my opinion, his scouting pro West was the reason he was bought into the club and apparently he's due to get an internal promotion in terms of being named to the technical director but I'll be making a separate video for that for you guys but of course um, if the fee is the initially reported 17.5 million euros then I do believe Arsenal may certainly trigger that. The proposed transfer is supposedly meant to take place in January and I don't know if this would be the case. Of course we know Ramsey will be moving on and there's a replacement that's required. Another aspect to this particular proposed move for for now will be the fact that apparently Arsenal are willing to let go Mohamed El Nenny, who also came for a very minimal fee. I do believe his fee was roughly around £5 million. And uh, Leicester, I've certainly voiced some interest in the player. So this season, he hasn't featured at all in the Premier League under Unai Emery. And it doesn't look like Unai Emery does favour him at all. So it is believed that Arsenal are willing to sell Mohamed El Nenny to fund this particular move for Pablo Fonals. Uh, will we miss El Nenny in the team? I 
don't think we'll really miss him. Of course, he's a fantastic squad player to have. Uh, again, as mentioned, he came in for a very minimal fee. So we may potentially see ourselves make a profit, bar the wages, of course. So um, he may end up at another Premier League club. Of course, a lot of Premier League clubs I've seen him play over the years, etc. But will he be missed? No. That's my personal opinion on that. But of course, this Pablo Fornals guy is absolutely exciting. He is also extremely, extremely technically gifted in terms of his passing range, his passes, the movement that he makes and his eye for goal as well. And as I said, he has been a key figure for Villarreal so far, although they're only one point above the relegation zone. And I think they've only won twice in the last 12 matches and uh, they're in terrible form. And if this does continue the way it is for them, them. of course he'll be looking for a move especially if they do get relegated I doubt they'll get relegated at the end of the season of course Villarreal is a massive club in Spain but I don't believe that they'll end up getting relegated but if the form continues as it is he may certainly be asking for a move himself as the player wanting to trigger that move to Arsenal and you know how these players are these days they will certainly just go ahead to their chairman and actually request a move so this is an interesting one we will certainly keep an eye on it and hopefully it will develop in our favour and we may certainly land ourselves a fantastic player on our hands but as usual guys please do let me know what you think in the comments below if you're watching this video and you're not subscribed to the channel please do make sure that you do hit that subscribe button so once again guys it's your boy tc from i'm gonna talk tv and i'm out